Welcome, nice to see you here today for our upgrade, cosmic upgrade, cosmic heart upgrade, whatever feels good for you. So what is happening from July 13th to 20th? It's pretty amazing. Flying through all these portals continues. The full moon comes along, so it's, it's going to be really really exciting and what is really happening the focus is still on self and i feel that is really as long as we are with venus in the in the hidden realm so this is really still being in that process of self but at the same time simultaneously what is happening energetically is the old games come to an end they are over so I leave that with you, whatever it means to you. And of course, it applies especially collectively. The, the energies and the upgrades that we're receiving now, they take us beyond this old games. It's a rebirthing into a totally new, I almost want to say reality. So the self is crucial. The unique self is very crucial. It's a good time to empty the self, which has a lot to do with the mind, but it also has to do with the self as the ego self, as the confused self. I mean, we can give self whatever name we're looking for. So be really aware that the energies are supporting you. Now, physically, you may feel a lot of things going on. I do. For some people, it can show up in anxiety, because there's a lot of new things. A rebirth is not, is not something easy, I want to say. It's not something that we have experienced a hundred thousand times and we just do it over and over again. And of course, the difference in this rebirthing process is we are doing this collectively. Be aware there's more upgrades of the crystalline parts of us. So the Homo sapien is leaving and the homo luminous is coming in. This applies for all of us, whether, whether you are fully on that path, fully present, fully conscious, or whether you are not so conscious, it still, it still happens. The question is just, how are you taking it? So you will see over this next week, there's a lot of more people wakening up. There's a lot of more people going within. So it's almost like, you can't avoid going within because this is where it's going. And at the same time, we are creating now a collective momentum, I want to call it. And a collective pulse. A pulse that allows us really to, to make that quantum leap, that evolutionary leap that we are all looking for. So this week is exciting. Stay tuned. Let it happen. I mean, there's nothing we can, we can't change anything, but we have a choice how we are riding this wave, how we are choosing to dance to these rhythms. So it's not like it's done to us. No, we have been part of this all along and it is here for us. So if ever you felt like this is against me, I don't know what to do, I'm suffering, that's the old homo sapien. Forget about it. We have co-created it. We have actually graduated from quite a lot of, I want to call it nonsense in hindsight, but of course it wasn't nonsense. It is part of our journey and it has been a, a good journey too. So please do not fall into judgment or rejection or guilt or shame. We did it. And so I'm inviting you today as we are coming together into this new consciousness, I am inviting you to the part of your being that is actually rebirthing. So if we look at rebirth from a perspective of a metamorphosis, that seems to be the easiest for me to take at the moment. Or of course the phoenix does a very similar thing, but the metamorphosis of the dragonfly and the dragonfly is coming right here to me now and ask me to guide us through that 
So this rebirthing, like a metamorphosis, what are you leaving behind? And, and look at the dragonfly. So the dragonfly leaves that old nymph behind, that little creature that was in the river and decided to hang on the tree. And what comes out of this is that beautiful dragonfly that has not so much to do with the old animal, old insect, but it, they're still insect, right? But there's a difference between flying and perfect vision and all of that and living a quite difficult and maybe monotone life in a river. So I'm inviting you to that space and you know today is the day for light language. So the dragonfly comes in but it says it's the cosmic dragonfly that also connects us into the infinite fields of the cosmos and all there is. So as we're connecting now to this cosmic dragonfly and making that bridge to your rebirthing, being very clear about what you're leaving behind and what is that essence, that light in you that you are taking with you. And I am here today with the High Council of the Halls of the Amenti that are here seen as a key into Homo Luminous, into our crystalline forms, and of course into new earth. That new consciousness, that new frequency at our unique pinnacle that is also being shown with the dragonfly today. So just enjoy that presence as I'm bringing through now the light language. Chapale, 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 menayuna. Ola ye manaya, orine, ane, 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 adorima. Onare, kola shepale malu. Kali tola rehana, kura kura mena na mena na na. Kala la 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 Just really enjoy that letting go of the old and that accumulation and concentration of your essence that is coming out like this cosmic dragonfly that carries the crystalline codes of your homo luminous and the key to the halls of the Amenti.
so just enjoy. It's quite a lot that came down for us all today and I welcome you into this new space that is available for us all. Of course, I want to know how it's going for you, how these upgrades are reaching you, how generally you are navigating and enjoying this ride. That could be called a crazy ride in many ways, but yet the magic is becoming clearer. And remember, the games are over and done. So from here on, it can only get even better. Thank you for being here today. You know how to subscribe, you know how to like, and most important, you know how to comment. See you soon. Much love from my heart to yours.